Hello, everyone. My name is Perla Spear. I am the Online Learning Services Librarian here at Trevecca, and I am going to be working with you through this orientation, introducing you to library services and resources that will be beneficial to you in this program of study. So let's get started. The first thing we want you to know is some basic information. First off, the library homepage, which you see on the right, library.trebecca.edu, links to services, resources, see all kinds of resources linked here, updated news down at the bottom. <clears throat> you have library hours listed here as well. During the regular semester, we are open seven days a week. You can verify our library hours by clicking the link at the bottom of the page here. Your library card is your Trevecca ID. If you do not have a physical ID and you don't know your ID number, chat with a librarian and we can get that ID number to you. You will use that ID number if you ever check out books or request interlibrary loan items. Now about interlibrary loan. Interlibrary Loan is a free service to Trevecca students and current employees. From Interlibrary Loan, you can get an article reprint, you can borrow a book, you can request it by clicking up here at the top under Services, you see Interlibrary Loan. From this page, you can complete a form or you can click the link in Discovery, which is our primary search. There is a link to more information about Interlibrary Loan if you need it. Librarian help is available during library hours. Right here you see get help. You can click contact us for the different ways that you can get assistance. Discovery search is our primary search and it's what you see on the library homepage right here. Here you can see it searches books, articles, and more. All our library collections, well, not all our library collections. In discovery search, you can, I'm going to just enter this topic, leadership and women, click the green button to begin the search. You will need to apply filters to improve your search. And the filters are shown on the left. First thing you're going to do is limit to Trevecca related titles, and then you can choose a format whether you want to um, use articles, books, video, etc. When you're looking at one of the records, such as this one here, you see there's three features up here. There's a site. The site is a citation generator that allows you to choose the citation style of your choice and copy and paste this. Now, it's very important you look at this. It says to look at it to make sure it's correct. So these are not always accurate, but they definitely give you a head start. You can generate a link here to share your citation here. It can be uh, sent via email, et cetera, right from Discovery. And you can generate a list by clicking that save. In order to have the list actual save beyond the session you are in, you'll need to sign in. And the sign in is just your Trevecca credentials. You also see down at the bottom this button that is a floating button, but it initiates a chat with the librarian. So you can click here, and if you are stuck searching, you can chat with a librarian during library hours. Books in Discovery. We have print, of course, and ebooks. And ebooks are so important to you as the online student. But when you are looking at our results, you see format, we've already selected Trevecca. You can select book and it will limit down to our books. And from here, you can choose your format. We would remove the dissertations from this. And then you see you have print books or eBooks. The print books <clears throat> will have a call number. eBooks, such as this one right here, have a button that says view the ebook. When you click this, it'll be you'll be taken to the website where you can read, print a chapter, or download the book as a checkout in the web pages. 
let me just go to print and let you see. So I'm going to remove the ebooks and you'll see print. The print books will show call numbers and they'll say availability. In some cases, ebooks and print books, there are multiple copies. The nice thing about ebooks, they're available 24 7. So they're accessible on your time frame, not just when you can get to the library. There is a research guide that is all about ebooks and tells you all kinds of different effective strategies to use the ebooks. Journals and databases. We are in Discovery Search. And from here, you can click the resources and you can go to the databases list. But those of you who already noticed this will see that there are articles in Discovery as well. So we'll remove the book. Well, I thought I was removing that format. There we go. And select article. And then we would only have articles. This is wonderful because it's easy. Um, you can also use the limiters here to limit to peer reviewed, limit by year. You can limit to full text if you wanted to. What is not helpful here, I suppose that may not be a very um, good way to put it, but what is not uh, beneficial for you is that this discovery search articles only searches some of the library collection. So you're really going to want to go here under resources to the database list. The databases, there are over close to um, 150 databases in our list. <clears throat> You can search multiple ways. You can select by a topic. You can look at the interdisciplinary resources, or you can search for a name. If, for instance, if a professor said use this, you can enter that, or you can drill down alphabetically. On the right is our most popular databases. I would begin by searching something interdisciplinary like Academic Search Ultimate. Um, you can also choose the all EBSCO databases. This link here is to this page. There's a lot of different resources that you have available. Use Academic Search Ultimate to start your search for journal articles. For the most part, databases are looking at journal articles, but you will also see some that are newspapers, streaming video, course dissertations are included in here as well. Google Scholar is an option for you. It is a resource that you can definitely use because it is scholarly. This is Google Scholar, not Google the search engine. <clears throat> Google Scholar includes peer-reviewed and academic sources and has a lot of full text available. They have very limited features. You can limit by date range. There is a little short advanced search cited by and a, a limited citation generator, which means it doesn't give you all the information you need if you were to copy and paste it. Here is the link to Google Scholar. Research guides are important aspects to your educational experience at Trevecca. And the library uses the research guides as a collective location for resources related to your program of study. From the library homepage, you can click right under Discovery Search, Research Guides. You can also go under Research and link to Research Guides. So we're gonna click here. This is what I call our landing page. <clears throat> and our landing page has all our guides you all are students in the BML, so to find your guide, you'd go under Program. Just click in that box there. You'll see BML. Click Go, and it will open up your research guide. So the research guide is a URL that can be and should be bookmarked so you have quick access to it because it will link you to related databases that will help you throughout your research. It will also give you information about the books, which I have just briefly talked about, but you can dig deeper. 
you will also have information on how to get in touch with librarians. APA 7 is mandatory. So in order to support you in that endeavor of getting your resources accurately formatted, in your BML guide, you see a link that says APA style. Here we've got all kinds of links about APA 7, basic principles, etc. So the research guide includes examples. It has links to supportive resources. Uh, the APA style blog, I'm going to go to the online APA 7 guides tab. Here's a link to the style blog. This is sponsored and owned by APA, so it's very authoritative, has examples, it gives you references to the actual manual page numbers, and then there is, of course, the Owl at Purdue, which also is a respected resource with examples and also provides links to uh, the manual. These are resources to help you make sure your citations are accurate. Getting help. There's a lot of ways you can get assistance from the librarians. First off, you can initiate a chat. The chat is in Discovery, as you saw the little floating boxes. On the welcome here, <clears throat> you will see a link to my contact information, how to meet, make an appointment with a librarian. <clears throat> uh, we will be using Teams or telephone. It's possible in person if that works for you, but you see a link here where you can choose a time to make an appointment. You can send an email 24 seven for library help. Generally hear back within 24 hours. That URL is library at .edu. You can also text us. So there is a different number to text us listed right here. So you can provide that text message if you wanted to. <clears throat> the chat also shows up within the research guide, so you can see that chat is available right now. Okay, so now you have had a short orientation to Trebekah's library and our services. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need assistance. Use our chat feature, schedule an appointment with a librarian, and by all means, make sure you are familiar with your research guide for your program. That will be so beneficial for you as you continue throughout your program. All right, I look forward to talking with you.